What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, we're going to talk to you about intuitive machines. I want to go over some of the current data points, break it down on what is really happening today, and go over everything else you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So market is roughly one hour away from closing. It's up 1.73 percent. Lot of volatility. So 871 the high, 806 the low. That will make a lot of sense once I go over the technicals and stuff like that. But 11.5 million shares been traded. 20.7 is the average so rather low volume but despite the low volume you are seeing a lot of good buys on the secondary market so on the secondary market to above one hundred thousand dollars last four transactions are all buys 186 thousand 132 202 thousand and then 101 a lot of that did propel intuitive machines higher especially with the lower volume that did play a very big part in it pushing higher because at the same time you have algos really pushing the broader market, a lot of good data and a lot of good reasons to be, I guess, greedy in the market. Even the fear and greed index is under the greed category. So people's appetite for risk is increasing. So that's really benefiting Lunar and even kind of icing on the cake today, you're having shorts return 233,000 shares. 27.9% of the free flow is being shorted, works out to be 15.94 million shares. Cost of borrow average is 12.26, utilization is 89.82, and then short score, so the higher the number, the higher the likelihood of a squeeze happening is sitting at 74.58. Regarding any news, though, it's been nothing today. Uh, so again, just piggybacking off the broader market, which nothing, not really anything wrong with that. Based on a lot of the data points, it did really reconfirm that 25 basis point cut for the November 7th meeting. So right now, a 94.1% likelihood of a 25. And even aside from that, I think it is fair to assume that the market is under the impression that Trump would really cause a more of an expansion in the broader market. And based on a lot of social media, it does look like Trump is leading in the polls. So we still have whatever, I think, 20 or 15 days left. But essentially, though, that I think the market is really rallying uh, based on that at the same time. So in my opinion, that could really stand to benefit. Uh, of course, I'm not here to get any political uh, or whatever. So you guys do your own due diligence at the end of the day. Regarding options, 2.48 million in calls, 392,000 inputs. So rather high volume for Lunar today. 46% of all the options being done today are optimistic and bullish. And of the call options that are being purchased, you see a consensus for it to be around that $9 range by the end of this week and possibly even $10 by next week. So pretty good stuff for that. Looking at puts though, you do see a consensus for it to be sub roughly 750. So in my opinion, a little bit more upside is anticipated, but no matter what though, options activity is just merely a sentiment. It does not move the stock price. It is better to kind of follow what big money is doing. And over the last several trading days, big money has been buying. And based on the technicals, so quickly pop over to IBKR. There's a good reason why you need to be and big money has been buying because a lot of the data points are very optimistic and bullish. So I do have the ALMA that seems to be the only indicator right now that isn't all that great. But the super trend 5100 and 200 day moving averages all fairly good stochastic RSI you see it resetting quite a lot. So generally a good thing um, in that regard. One point to really watch for is this right here, the $7.95. If it does break or kind of touch that, then essentially this is where the trend will turn somewhat bearish. So in my opinion, a little bit of consolidation based on what has happened over the last little bit is fairly good and kind of justifying. But in reality, it does need to really continue this positive momentum. And tomorrow you do have initial jobless claims, retail sales. I think no matter what uh, comes out from that, it won't really change the likelihood of the interest rate. So uh, most likely that 25 is going to come to fruition, but it would validate the strength in the economy. So hopefully it does come in stronger than anticipated, both data points and really propels things higher. A lot of companies have been coming out with kick ass earnings. And so, yeah, I, in reality, I think the market is ready to expand. It's just waiting, waiting for kind of the green light, whether it be the 
whole presidential election or some other point. But yeah, a lot of the technicals are looking fairly good. Aside from that, um, I've been monitoring to see what analysts have been saying for their upcoming earnings and uh, ratings. Nothing new. Uh, so last one was done 27 days ago, $12 price target. That was B. Riley Financial. Maiku has a 52% success rating. Aside from that, $10.60 is that consensus of all these ratings put together. And that does represent a 29.1% upside. So as I've been stating, I think Intuitive Machines is going to have a very nice breakout sooner rather than later. It's just timing, right? And so in my opinion, I really like that. So if you guys have a long-term time horizon, take advantage of these prices. On a side note, if you are looking for a lot of good free information, analyst, rate, uh, analyst ratings, ownership, forecasts, everything under the sun, Take a look at IPKR, I have a link in the description below and the comments. But as I brought up in my last video, which is rather bullish, some people might not like this, but retail from quarter over quarter, they did sell out. They went down 7.15%. And some people might not like that, but for stability purposes, big money adds support. Big money can dictate where stock does go. Big money increased their position by 43.77% quarter over quarter. So this is why even more reason you need to add this company to your watch list. So let me know your thoughts on that. Going over this right now with that $8.19 is trading between these two points, so the R1 and R2, so $8.25. It did uh, regrettably get dragged uh, lower than that, so that's going to be the next strong target slash resistance. As well, right here, $8.75. That was also kind of what it bounced off of, so you know that's a very strong resistance point. But this right here, this R1, $7.94, that's what that super trend kind of pivot was. So if it does break below that, then yeah, anticipate more of a further pullback to kind of the low sevens possibly so just let me know your kind of thoughts um, of course I think a stock of this size and market cap there's going to be a hell of a lot of volatility and with shorts all over them because once again the short interest is 27.92 percent and with lower volume manipulation is very easy so you have to kind of just anticipate for the foreseeable future that there's going to be a continuation of volatility but like i said with big money getting in profitability coming probably in the first half of 2025 this is a kick-ass deal in my opinion but my crystal ball sometimes is wrong so you guys do your own due diligence don't forget to hit that thumbs up two things i want to share with you this promo does give you five free stocks each stock is valued up to two thousand dollars amazing deal link to this is in the description below and also the comments and as well i did launch memberships with this youtube channel so if you like my content want to support the channel there's a tier for that or if you're looking for buy signals on stocks or options there's also a tier for that so take a look don't forget to uh again hit that thumbs up and with that appreciate all you guys watching